Good morning, guys. You're welcome to the Civilized Presence. Uh, just give us two minutes to give Facebook two minutes so that we can make this video visible to everyone. Good morning. Good morning. It's so good to have you. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Welcome to the Civilized Presence. We are almost there. We're getting this started. Okay. I am just trying to look for this video. Okay. There you go. Good morning, guys. Thank you so much for being here. You are welcome to the Civilized Presence and you are in the right place at the right time time just give us two minutes i'm trying to put the video out there uh so caroline it looks like you have some security on your page so i'm not able to put this up there on your page um so you might have to share it from my personal page if that's okay good morning guys okay Perfect. We're almost there. Good morning. Okay. Can you see the video, please? Because normally I have to uh, approve if someone is trying to post on my uh, page. Yes, you might have to share it from my personal page um, because I'm not able to do that. I just tried it, but you have some security on your page and it wouldn't let me. So I'm gonna try again, but um, it looks like you might have to put it on yourself. Okay. Yes. Yes, that's not coming on. Perfect. It looks like you have some security. Yes. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Um, because I'm not able to do that. I just Perfect. tried it. So I'm gonna turn this off. Welcome to the Civilized Presence. You were in the right place at the right time. And we're just about getting this party started, guys. Yes, I am so excited. Um, and just give us one second. We have to put this on Instagram as well. Okay. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining. Good morning, Instagram family. It's so good to see you this morning. Welcome to the Civilized Presence. So, Caroline, can you say hello on Instagram to me? I just started the video. Um, yes, perfect. Hello on Instagram to me. I just started the video. Yes, perfect. So... There you go. Hello, Helene. Thank you so much for being here from Canada. It's so good to have you. Thank you for joining us. Um, Caroline, I just sent you an invitation. I'm waiting for you to accept it on Instagram. Caroline, it looks like there's a little bit of a feedback from you. Can you turn down the second system? And it looks like there's a little bit of a feedback from you. Welcome, Morel. Thank you so much for joining. Welcome, Nelush. Thank you for joining. Guys, uh, please leave a comment in the box below and let us know where you're joining us from. We are just about to get this party started. Guys, good morning. I am so excited that you made our time to be here. Hello, Morel. Thank you so much for joining us from London, UK. So good to see you, my friend. So welcome to the Civilized Presence. And guys, I have like three different systems looking at me. Just in case I'm looking at different directions, I'm not running away from you. Hello, world of doubt. And I want you to know that I care so much about you, that you made out time to be here. I love you very much. So as soon as I see your name come up, I'm going to give you a shout out. But if you're not on my personal page, I might not be able to do that. So maybe just follow me on Instagram, on Facebook. It's So Unique Experts. And let me give you a shout out and treat you like a VIP that you are. So welcome, Nelush. It's so good to have you. And can you comment in the box below and let us know where you're joining from? Polish Manners UK, 
Thank you for being here. So welcome to the Civilized Presence. And this is the online TV session where lives are being changed, where people discover their self, their purpose, and their voice, and also learn social skills required to thrive in the real world. If you want to become a change maker, this is the place to be. So I am your girl, Louisa Arcaizo, and I am a master civility trainer. I'm a golden rule civility statesman and a leadership coach and expert. And just for the purpose of today, because I have Caroline here. Caroline, I'm also an image consultant. So it's important that your uh, people from your network know that and feel more comfortable seeing me work with you. <laughs> I feel so honored, all of you, for being here for responding to the call, responding to the post. I'm not sure where you're seeing us from. Uh, maybe someone shared it on your page and you saw the invitation or notification. It doesn't matter where you're joining from, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Welcome to, for the fact that you made our time to hang out with us. You know, I'm just going to say that I really do appreciate you. And of course, like our tradition here, we always just show love to one another. So if you see anybody saying hello in the comment box, just try to say hello and just welcome them because this is the civilized presence. This is where we learn about being civil, social graces. You are in the right place. Now, I am here every Mondays and Fridays at 8 a.m. Eastern time. If you've never met me before, that's okay. Just hang on tight because we're going to share some really valuable nuggets. Guys, the show is not about me today. I have Carolyn in the house and she's very special to me. In a moment, I'm going to tell you who she is. So for those who are just joining us, because every time we have new people, the main goal of this Facebook and Instagram series is really to help restore civility through meaningful and constructive conversation. And I do this every Mondays and Fridays. I do not work alone. We started in the month of April. I have been working with a lot of my colleagues um, and experts in different fields, just because there's so much questions about what really is civility and how easy it is for us to be civil. Hello, Beth from um, Kenya. It's so good to have you in the house. Welcome, my friend. So sometimes people wonder, can people really be civil? Louisa, it seems like it's so complicated. It's such a great and technical term. Like, is it just for a special group of people? No. So I'm here to let you know that we're going to help you break it down into tiny bits that you can understand and see how easy and important it is for you to be civil. And you can begin with little things like saying please and thank you or even good morning or share a compliment just like i'm gonna do right now to caroline and say caroline you look amazing this morning thank you for thank being you. here yes hi so i can see a lot of people jumping on hello shelly thank you for being here hello esther from nigeria thank you for being here hello john from canada thank you for being here hello easy thank you hello cynthia thank you hello sandra thank you hello ima thank you Guys, I'm going to come back to you. The show is not for me. It is the person that we have to focus on today is Caroline. Now, before I continue, some of us are asking, Louisa, I don't even know what civility means. That's okay. So let me share with you a great definition. And that's the one from Dr. Fonny, who is the grandfather of civility. And this states that being civil means being constantly aware of others and weaving restraint respect and consideration into the very fabric of this awareness. So civility is a form of gracious goodness. Alpin Rose, it's so good to have you in the house. Vivian, it's so good to have you in the house. Thank you so much, guys. Tony, yes, hello. Lee Zahn, thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you. Buki, thank you for being here. Great, guys. So it's not about me today, it's about my special guest. So uh, just give me a moment, let me tell you why she's so special to me. Um, her name is Caroline Powery, okay? And she is a certified business etiquette consultant. She is an image and personal brand coach for professionals, female entrepreneurs, uh, young adults, and the youth. She is passionate in about helping her clients stand out and outclass their competition. She converts, uh, she helps her clients to convey a, a poised and polished persona, exude executive presence, and achieve 
success and excellence in their personal and professional life. Now, Carolyn is also the CEO and the founder of Prestige Etiquette and Image Consulting, LLC. And that's an organization that prides itself in creating powerful first impressions that gets you noticed. So if you want to get noticed, you're in the right place. I want to get noticed. I don't know about you, but I want to get noticed. So welcome, Caroline. And another thing I want you to know is that she's a co-author to several books, and she's been featured in a lot of um, in media, okay, a lot of media outlets like CBS, um, the news, NBC, name it, Channel 25. So you might have seen um, Carolyn around on TV, on screen. Now she's in the show. Welcome, Jiva from Malaysia. It's so good to have you. Ingrid, hello. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And you are welcome, everyone, to the Civilized Presence. If you're just joining us, you're not too late to the party. We're just getting things started. Now, I don't know how many of you had seen the flyer of the day, but if you haven't seen the flyer, that's fine. The topic of today is professionalism and civility. And that's the unspoken um, etiquette of your holiday office party. Now, how many of you here would attend a party this year? Just give me a wave of hand. Kind of give me a thumbs up, whatever that you want to do. Well, for me, I am all about that. Listen, I, I just want to relax, okay? So if you're like me and you know you're going to have a lot of those functions, dinner parties, um, holiday office parties, whatever that you have uh, this um, um, season, I do not want you to panic because sometimes we get so terrified. What am I going to wear? What not to wear? Um, I don't know how to behave. Oh, my God, my boss is going to be there and I have a problem with alcohol. Yes, some of us drink and get drunk and we forget that it's the office holiday party. And now if you've done that before, that's OK, because right after the show, you're going to learn those tips that would help you to navigate your party, your function gracefully without losing your job. Okay, that's very important. You don't want to go there and be the talk of the day, the next day at work. So this is why I brought um, and invited Carolyn Powery today because she's an expert and this is what she does every single day uh, through trainings and workshops and she's on, on the media all the time talking about how you can learn uh, social skills and just be able to outclass your competition. Isn't that great? I think it's just a wonderful topic that's going to help everyone this morning. So, Carolyn, I want to say welcome and thank you for making our time to be here. Just take a moment to say hello to the audience before we hello continue. Hello, everyone, and thank you, Louisa, for this opportunity to be able to come and be on your platform this morning. Thank you so much. I feel so honored and blessed that you are here. So guys, I'm sorry if I'm looking away from your camera, but it's because I have like four systems looking at me. So, but every time I'm going to wave to your Instagram family and just let you know that I love you so much. Facebook family, thank you for being here. YouTube, I love you guys. You are amazing for making our time to be here. So my very first question for you, Caroline, and how this works really is just begin with questions. We start up the conversation. Sometimes we have questions coming from our audience and we just carry on till the end of the session. My very first question for you this morning would be, what does civility mean to you? Over to you, Caroline. Civility to me means when you make others feel comfortable around you, you show respect. And that's using, um, you know, having poise. Because when you're poised, that means you don't fall, you know, to pieces under pressure and you're more polished in your presence and how you present yourself and how you conduct yourself around other people. Thank you so much, Caroline. And welcome, Blake Brown from Canada. And there's a lot of people from Canada this morning. It's, we're so popular in Canada this morning. Guys, I want you to know that our audience is global. We have everyone here, right? We have people from Africa, from the UK from Malaysia, Asia, everywhere, Dubai, look at that. We have Canada in the house, Ghana is here, South Africa is here. So there is somebody that looks like you in this session. So just kind of say hello and just share some love. Yes, Morel says civility is showing respect, absolutely. You cannot leave respect out. I always say, if it's your very first time of thinking about civility, do not forget the three hours. Respect, restraint, and responsibility.
You have to be responsible for your actions. You have to treat the next person the way you want to be treated. Welcome, Blay Brown from Alberta, Canada. I know it's so cold over there and it's 6 a.m., but thank you for making our time to be here. You are special to us. And I really appreciate you for being here. Thank you. Now, back to the topic of the day. Okay, Tonya is in the house. Welcome. It's so good to have you here. My very next question for you would be, Let's start from the beginning. When you receive an invitation to a holiday party or whatever party, is it okay to bring a guest if it is not mentioned in the invitation? Over to you, Caroline. And this is for the party bombers. <laughs> you definitely have to make sure that you read the invitation thoroughly because normally the invitation will let you know if you can invite a guest or not. If the invitation says that you cannot invite a guest, if it doesn't mention a guest, then you definitely should not be disrespectful and be rude and bring someone to the party if they are not expected uh, extra guest. Because you have to remember, the host has been planning for the event as far as space, you know, how many chairs they're going to need, how many tables, and how much food they're going to need at the event. So if it is a company party, you definitely do not want to bring an extra guest because you don't want to be looked upon as someone who just do what they want to do and who does not respect the rules or policies of the company. Thank you so much. Hello, my friend, uh, Pastor Rajan. It's so good to have you from South Africa. Hello, Louisa, from Canada again. Welcome to the house. Thank you. Canada is hot this morning, guys. I miss you guys. And I can imagine how cold it is this morning, but you made out time uh, to be here. Yes, Tonya, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. I know you're supporting her and I am just cheering you on. You were great. Thank you. So I have another question for you, uh, Caroline. Um, now, I will close introduce us and speak for us, you know, across the room. So whether you're saying something or not, your clothes are speaking. They're communicating something about you. Now, what do you suggest that we wear? How do we dress for um, an office holiday party? Because I think people just kind of go crazy and sometimes just want to show their skin. Um, is that appropriate? Um, over to you, Caroline. Well, first I want to say you have less than seven seconds to make a first impression. So your goal is to make a first impression. Wearing something for the ladies. If you're wearing something that's too sexy or too sinky or too um, see-through or too tight, then you're definitely going to give the wrong impression. You have to remember that even though it is a party, it's a holiday party, you are still at work. It's still part of your job. So you definitely want to make sure that you wear something a little bit more, you know, it could be festive, you know, if it's a dress, make sure it's at your knees or maybe a little above your knee, not to your thigh area, definitely not, uh, because you want to be um, respected. You want people to look at you for your uh, experience, your educational background, you know, what you're able to offer to the company. Because suppose you're up for a promotion, or maybe they're looking at you to promote you, but then you show up in something that's really sexy and slinky. So now the perception they're going to have of you is not going to be a positive perception. So you definitely want to make sure that you dress in a professional manner. You can still have your personality, maybe a pop of color in your shoes or your jewelry. Uh, the men wear a, a suit. Um, you can wear a, a colorful bow tie or a tie, you know, they kind of, you know, spruce it up a little bit or maybe a um, a suede, kind of suede, but a, um, a velour, velour type blazer with some color and uh, nice slacks, no tennis shoes. And mm -hmm. ladies, ladies that your, shoe, your shoes are appropriate also because you want to be comfortable uh, when you are networking uh, at the the party at the Christmas party. Yes, comfort is so important because sometimes I see people put on the six inches and can't work in them, and that really bothers me. You have to be able to walk it, ladies, before you put it on. 
yes. Now that question has a second part. So let's say you're allowed to bring your date or your spouse and you had this sexy date and sexy spouse and someone who loves to expose their body. Do you think that you have to uh, kind of um, um, talk to them at home and give them the rules and just say, you know what, we're going to my office holiday party. It's okay. You can put on this skimpy thing at home for me, but you don't want to show up the same way. So, so what do you think about that? Carly? You definitely should give your, um, your spouse or your date a talk before you reach the dinner party. Because if you, again, if you're up for promotion, maybe the CEO, the president of the company, maybe at this particular party because their office could be in a different state. So this may be your first time meeting the, the person who spearheads this company. Mm -hmm. So you definitely want to make sure you talk to your spouse about what is appropriate and what is acceptable. If you feel your sp spouse is not going to adhere to your request, then maybe they should stay home. Because <laughs> you definitely do not want to ruin your opportunity of either losing your job and having a bad reputation. Mm. Thank you so much. Now, Pastor Rajan says, dressing doesn't make a man, it addresses a man. Okay, that is a great point, Pastor Rajan. And he has another one says, um, when choosing what to wear, modesty is the word to remember. Thank you so much. Thank you. You can shout it out. You can <laughs> shout it out. You know, I just want to scream that um, um, comment because that's so important. Sometimes we get so excited about the invitation and we don't pay attention to what we should be putting on. I always tell people that you have to plan for the party that you're invited for. It's important. Take a minute to think about it. Don't just show up in your closet and pick up what is in front and, and leave for the show. You have to take some time, put some thought to it. The fact that somebody invited you, show them some respect, okay, by looking your best and not showing up as a clown because um, it's it's very important. Um, and this is not my show, so I'm going to leave it for Carolyn. So another question I have for you, Carolyn, this morning is what kind of conversation should we be having uh, during a social gathering, especially in the office holiday party? Because, you know, sometimes when people take a little bit of extra alcohol, they get to talk too much. Um, so what kind of conversation is appropriate for a social gathering that will still put your, leave your job in place? Over to you, Caroline. Well, you definitely want to stay away. I want to address this first. Stay away from politics and religion. Because as you know, a lot of people are very passionate about those particular subjects and they can get pretty heated. So in a professional setting, stay away from those subjects. But you can talk about, you know, especially with it being a holiday party, you can talk about the holidays, you know, whether you're gonna be traveling somewhere, if you have family coming in, or maybe, um, you know, shopping, you know, what are you shopping? Maybe you have children, you may find that you have something in common with the person you're having a conversation on. Um, the, the latest technology, so things, safe subjects, the weather, how, maybe the coolness of the weather. Maybe you enjoy the coolness of the weather. You get to wear your winter uh, attire. So those subjects are pretty safe, but definitely stay away from politics and religion. Thank you so much. Guys, uh, for those of us who are just joining us, you're welcome to the Civilized Presence. And we are here every Mondays and Fridays at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Now, I want to let you know that with the holiday swing uh, season in full swing, and it depends on what part of the world that you're in. Some of us have already done the uh, Thanksgiving and some are waiting for Christmas and other parties and events. Um, I find that sometimes people get nervous. We're excited, but sometimes we're nervous. And so we decided at the Civilized Presence to really create um, sessions where you can learn with grace. So are you going to be um, uh, learning a lot from us in topics that are ranging from like um, out of the art of conversation and the right networking, the art of gifting, dating, um, um, dining etiquette, and something like what we're talking about today, which is the office holiday party, uh, because I find that a lot of people do not know what is acceptable when it has to do with the office holiday party. Just because the holiday party, we want to just let go and let loose. No, 
you're not going to do that. Not after you're here in this session today. So over to you, Caroline. How much should we drink or not drink? That is a very good question. Yes. Actually, less than two drinks. If you know two drinks is too much for you, then you should drink one or don't drink at all. Because you know how sometimes when people consume alcohol, they tend to talk more. <laughs> their whole behavior, their whole attitude change. So you don't want to um, create what they call diarrhea of the mouth and you're just talking, talking, talking and sharing information that's either private or personal and then get to the wrong person. So if you're not a drinker, what you can do is maybe have you some sparkling water or soda, you know, if you feel like you're not part of the festivity without having a drink in your hand. But you definitely want to limit your intake because remember, you stick and you are being observed. Thank you so much, Caroline, and welcome, Nat French uh, Benefits. Welcome, Michael Morris. Welcome, uh, Lulu Peer. It's so good to have you in the house. Thank you. On Facebook, I have people jumping in. If I'm not able uh, to shout out your name, it's because you're not on my personal page. So do me a favor. Try to follow me on Facebook. It's So Unique Experts. And on Instagram, So Unique Experts as well. And you will get notifications of when I come online um, here for the Civilized Presence. We're here every Mondays and Fridays, for, but for the season of the holiday, we're going to have a lot more sessions in between because there's so many topics that we have to work on. And guys, just give us some hearts, give us some love. If you're enjoying the topic of the day, just kind of give us a shout out, give us hearts, give us love. And uh, Bozmar, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Hello, D uh, from Virginia. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. So I have another question for you. And, and also, yes, from Blay Brown. And her question is, so first of all, let me read the comment from Rajan. Be, con be cautious of the dangers of December. <laughs> it's a time when you can lose all your morals and values. What you worked hard for, for um, 11 months, you can easily lose them in December. Maintain what you obtained. Hmm. That's a great lesson, Dr. Rajan. We should have you in the house one of these days. And then there's a question for you. Um, from Blay Brown, and that question states, some people may not want to attend for various reasons. How should you decline? Thank you. You went ahead of me, but that is great. Over to you, Carly. <laughs> now, if this is job related, uh, it's important that you do attend social events related to your job. Mm. Uh, and I remember, you know, working on my job a couple of years back where there were some individuals who will not attend events, but it is looked upon as you're not being a team player. Uh, at least um, ensure your face. You don't have to stay the whole time, but it's very important in your career that you do attend outside events that are related to your job. Thank you. Thank you. That's, Thank that's you. important. And I'm glad that you mentioned that when it has to do with your job, you have to, you have to try to do that. That helps. But if it, has nothing to do with job you have to learn the art of uh, declining gracefully okay make sure that you try to reach out to um your hosts and let them know because some people would not come for the event will not show up will not say anything to you that is bad so because you're here in the civilized present you've learned a better way um to go about things so the next question for you uh carolyn is what do you think about texting on the phone? Texting, tweeting, chatting during a social event. Some people cannot drop the phone down. <laughs> Every minute they are texting, chatting, pressing something. Is that an appropriate a manner, um, I mean, behavior in a, um, an office holiday party or any social gathering? Over to you, Caroline. Well, you definitely want to maintain some restraint and you have to remember that um, the person who's face-to-face -face with you, you should give them the attention and not your phone. You should not be giving your phone more attention than the other person. So my suggestion would be to, you know, put your phone away. And at some, at some events I've seen where now they'll say, um, take pictures 
and they want you to use a certain hashtag for their event so that is an opportunity where you can take the picture but to have your phone in your hand the whole time and you're taking pictures and you have to be mindful everybody do not want that picture taken everybody do not want to be video and placed on social media so you have to respect other people's wishes but you definitely want to have some self-control when it comes to your cell phone when you are at certain events we were losing you for a minute uh, i think the connection was kind of a little bit unfriendly but it looks like you're back now okay great yes guys so caroline was just talking about tweeting and texting on the phone and that's very inappropriate that's very disrespectful really you know people sit listen if you need to sit on your phone stay home okay <laughs> if you cannot give us your attention stay home do not get to the event and sit on your phone and chat 24 7 while you're there in the event we might as well just have your phone and not you okay yeah. so um, she just mentioned how inappropriate that is. And we have to try to control that because sometimes, you know, I find that people lose being in the moment because they're trying to grab all the opportunities of all the selfie. Yeah, you want to take a selfie. You want to take a video. You want to chat. And you really didn't do anything. You were not even present in the event. So try to be cautious about it. And don't just take everyone's photograph. Try to ask them and find out if they mind or not. So thank you so much, Caroline. Yes, I have another question for you, and that has to do with people not showing up on time. I, that is very disrespectful. I cannot even say that enough. Um, but I'm going to hand it back to Caroline. So you're not going to say, Louisa, it's being harsh this morning. But when you are invited to an event, Caroline, is it okay to show up half an hour later? Uh, what's appropriate, Caroline? Over to you. <laughs> well, you definitely want to be respectful of the time that has been given on the invitation and try to get there <laughs> and be there um, because, again, if it is uh, related to your job, it can be a reflection on you. You know, now, you know, if there's an, I understand sometimes there are emergencies. If there's an emergency, then fine. But to continually be late for events, like they say, fashionably late, you don't want to be fashionably late because these are not those type of events where you want to be seen as someone who's always late because then people have a negative perception of you that you don't care, you know, it's, it's your time. You just have to be respectful of the host uh, who has planned the event. You don't know what they have in, in place. Also, sometimes at events like this, especially if it is, related to your job, the company that you work for, the CEO may be there just at the beginning. They may not be at the full time. So if you have had plans to meet the CEO or the president, you know, someone of significance, you have missed that window of opportunity to connect with them. Thank you, Carolyn. I have two more questions for you. And guys, this is the Civilized Presence. If you're just joining us for the very first time, leave your comment and your question in the box below. The expert is in the house. I don't want to take the questions when she's gone. <laughs> leave your comment and your questions in the box below. She's ready to take them on now. My next question for you, Carolyn, is what is a tactful way to end a boring or uncomfortable conversation because that's going to come up when there are a lot of people taking alcohol and just getting excited so many things are going to show up what's the best way to do that over to you caroline well you can graciously tell them that you have enjoyed that conversation maybe you see someone else who you can introduce them to because maybe they have something in common they may have something more in common than you and that person have in common so maybe uh, something they said to you uh, you know that, uh, that someone else that you know may have the same interest. Maybe they're both in the same industry. So you can always introduce them to someone else and just let them know you enjoyed that conversation and <laughs> look forward <laughs> to connecting with them in the future. Thank you. We were losing you a little bit. Can you give that answer again? We lost you for a bit. So I don't think the audience got that. Okay. You can um, 
maybe that's someone who you can whom you can introduce them to to connect them to because maybe the person you're speaking to may have something in common with someone else at the party so you can graciously tell them you enjoy talking with them you enjoy meeting with them i would like for you to meet um my friend cynthia she's also a, a real estate agent and you know the two will have something in common Great. Thank Great. you so much, Caroline. Hello, Mr. King. It's so good to have you in the house. Hello, Adiaga. It's so good to have you in the house. Etiqueta, Etiqueta Excellence. Welcome. It's so good to have you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Hello, Coco. Thank you so much for being here. Now, I have another question for you. When you are at the office holiday party, is it the right time for you to flirt around? Yes, that's not, people are not going to like me for that. I'm now, sorry. some people, is it the right time to flirt, to be oh, flirty? Um, sometimes people do not know when to stop and when to start. They just feel like, you know, we're all here having fun, and I think I can do whatever I want. Is it, the, is it a good time? Is it a good thing to do? Is that an appropriate behavior to begin to flirt in our um, holiday, um, office holiday party? Over to you, Caroline. No, it is not the appropriate time to be flirting at an office party. Just because it's a party does not give you the okay to decide, okay, I'm going to flirt. Remember, it's still part of your job, and you have to be respectful of the other person. Thank you. We have another question from the audience, and that might be the last question. And then that's from Blay Brown. If the party is in your home, so she's asking for a different party, should you bring a gift if the invitation does not say so? Over to you, Caroline. My suggestion is to bring a gift. It can be a bottle of wine, it can be a bottle of champagne, it can be some chocolate, or it can be some flowers. Because that's your way of saying thank you to the hostess. And yeah, I would definitely suggest that you take something. <laughs> Yeah, thank, you. thank you. Thank you, Caroline. I, I have had such a wonderful time, guys. Um, if you're just joining us for the very first time, you were on to the Civilized Presence. We're here every Mondays and Fridays at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Now, for the holiday season, I want you to know that we're going to be showing up a lot more than Mondays and Fridays. But I'll always have a post uh, a day before, two days before, just to let you know that there's a session coming up. Now, if you've been struggling, if you're one of those who has been nervous, as soon as the holidays here, you're like, oh my God, what am I going to do? There's so much invitation. I don't know what I'm going to do about this. You are in the right place. All you have to do is follow me on Facebook and on Instagram on So Unique Experts, and you will see all the posts and all the sessions that's going to be coming up and all of the topics that we're going to be discussing uh, during this season. So we have you covered, we care about you, and we want this Christmas, this holiday, to be one with a difference, just because you are part of the civilized presence. So guys, I wanna say a big thank you uh, to Caroline. I wanna say a big thank you to all of you on Instagram, on Facebook, and on YouTube. I wanna say a big thank you. I really appreciate your making our time uh, to be here. And for those of us who are gonna see the video on a replay, I wanna say thank you too. So do us a favor, make sure that you leave your comment in the box below. Let us know where you're joining us from. It's important that we know um, how far we're going. And also leave any questions that you might have, not just Carl, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate you making our time to be here. Coco, thank you so much. Thank you, Blake Brown. It was so great to have you in the house. Uh, Pastor Rajan from uh, South Africa. Thank you, Morel. Thank you, Jeever from Malaysia. Thank you. And every other person that has been here, I just want to say a big thank you. And I do hope that you have a fantastic week ahead. Thank you. I hate to let you go, but I have to. Bye for now. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.